Now, it's your boy Nirgun in the house, back with another exciting video, back with another bang on video. Well, yes, why this video is going to be bang on? Because we're going to talk about Adam Traore. Ladies and gentlemen, did you know Adam Traore is on the market? Well, yes, we're going to talk about it. Why I made this thumbnail? Yes, it's a, it's a clickbait. You would love it. But I think it, it's not wrong to actually go for a player like Adam Traore. But I, I don't think so. He, he's been liked by Arteta. But more on that, we're also going to talk about Hossein Awar possible possible midfielders that Arsenal could actually sign and more on a lot of stuff so keep watching the video till the end let's move on with the first news Juninho Panamucano has opened up the Lyon's sporting director has opened up about the departure of Hossein Awar he says there will be departures but I'm not worried when you have players who play very well in a competition like this like Musa Dembele and Hossein Awar so let's talk about certain central midfielders Arsenal should look to get I saw this thread at uh, on Twitter so let, let me share some things obvious targets include Hossam Awar and Felipe Coutinho but here are certain hidden gems central midfielders with more than 25 appearances also 20 appearances in every added Evesi, but under the age of 26 in the league so let's talk about number one is John McGinn he ranks third in assists fourth in key passes fourth in accurate long balls first in successful dribbles per game and in total second in shots per game so he would be a wonderful addition but not only this we also can talk about Fabian Ruiz most assists with five three from uh, through balls second in key passes per game and in total best pass accuracy accurate with 90.92 percent second last in possession loss with him losing possession only once a game and last in bad touches with 0 0.9 per game so yes Fabian and Ruiz could be wonderful as well but not only this we also can talk about Morgan Sanson he's already been linked with Arsenal Morgan Sanson is uh, nine goals or assists from centre mid this season most from anyone in the age range and position in League 1 in the last four league on seasons he has managed 110 appearances with 37 goals or assists He's, he would certainly add a creativity to an Arsenal side that ranked 16th in big chances created but only th not only this he also has more tackles per game than any Arsenal central midfielder, 2.2 per game. Sec next best is Danny Ceballos with 1.9. Has more dribbles per game than any of our own, as well as shots per game with 1.4. Next best was Ceballos and Genduzi, both with 0.5. And next, tied with Donny Wanderbeek is Abdu Harau. Harawi, Harawi, sorry. Tied with goals and assists with Donny Wanderbeek on 11. 7 assists and 4 goals for Harawi with... Uh, 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 with probably 5 assists and 6 goals. Harui's goal contributions were responsible for 26.83% of their goals this season. So it's unbelievable. And also, he's ranked first in total in successful dribbles with 4.4 and 2.4 per game, respectively. Second in shots per game with 1.9 and has a tackle success rate of 74.42%. And was dribble pass the least with that happening only 1.1 times per game. So he is unbelievable. He would be immense. But moving on, well, uh, Hossam Awar tweeted out after the Champions League exit from of Lyon uh, by the hands of Bayern Munich and he said, he tweeted out, It is with immense sadness that our adventure comes to an end. What an honour and pride to have been able to experience these moments with my training club. A big thank you to the supporters for the support they have given us. Congratulations to all. Thank you. That's unbelievable, man. Well, moving on, let's talk about more stuff. Well, uh, the long wait for the arrival of Thomas Partey is about to end. Constant news that Arsenal have received is that Arsenal's intention to activate the release clause next week if everything goes as planned. So next week, you could see Thomas Partey coming to Arsenal or probably his uh, release clause would be activated. It could take probably two weeks, but let's see. Next week is going to be very exciting. So let's, let's move on with something more, something really courageous and something really different. Well, Tottenham are set to make a shock bid for £20 million rated Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Well, yes, Ainsley Maitland-Niles is uh, from rivals Arsenal as Jose Mourinho is plotting Serge Aurier replacement. Ainsley has become their top priority of the lost faith in Serge Aurier. Arsenal would listen to offers in the region of 20 million for Ainsley. His versatility is viewed as a huge plus by Tottenham's recruitment team. I don't believe it though, but yeah, that is that. Well, moving on, Lil Honor Lopez has spoken about to talk sport. He said, I think he has narrowed down to it down. Arsenal are of course interest to him. Napoli is of high interest to him. I don't think I'm giving too giving up too much if I tell you that choice is going to be made between today or tomorrow. So yes, Simon Collins is, is, is uh, Gabriel is going to uh, address uh, this issue. But moving on. 
Sami Mokbel has opened up about on Touchy Gunners podcast. He said, "What I understand is personal terms have been agreed with Thomas Partey." So yes, personal terms have been agreed with Thomas Partey. Well, yes, unbelievable, man. Well, Lyon have reportedly rejected a bid from Arsenal for Hossam Awar involving Matteo Guendouzi. Well, yes, the French midfielder looks increasingly likely to head his uh, towards his Emirates exit. Paris Saint-Germain, Barcelona, Roma, and Unai Emery's new club Villarreal are all linked with Guendouzi. Arsenal attempted to move for the 20 year 20 21 year old by offering him a player plus cash for Awar. So let's see how things will turn out. But the problem is his value is around 54 million pounds right now because of the Champions League exploits and he's uh, he's, he's been unbelievable man. But Arsenal are very much optimistic that they could get their midfielder. Well moving on Well, 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 Arsenal fans are loving this creation. That uh, yes, Arsenal have tweeted out that uh, my left back. Well, yes, uh, this is going to be unbelievable. Uh, Tierney looks really like a lord, man. It's unbelievable. Amazon Prime Video have released the 20 fixtures fans can watch for free in the 2020-2021 Premier League season, including Liverpool against Tottenham. Well, yes, all 20 matches will be shown live on the Amazon Prime Video across the two, three-day window. So it's going to be very much exciting. Arsenal will face Southampton. Arsenal. face brighton so these two fixtures of arsenal shall be free uh, between those two windows starting from december 15 to to 17th and the next one is 28 to 30th december i think you guys will have a definitely wonderful time once you guys are actually having that amazon prime video at least at least these these free games will help you out well moving on Arsenal's 2020-2021 fixtures the opening 5 games include Fulham September 12th next is West Ham after that Liverpool and then Sheffield United and Manchester City those 5 games are really tough if you ask me but in in reality I think let's get get over we over with and against other big 6 Man City home on February 20th and away would be October 17th Liverpool home will be April 3rd but away will be September 26th so the third game would be Liverpool away that is Anfield and Chelsea home will be December 26th and May 12th will be away Manchester United home will be January 30th and away will be October 31st not the first game of the season well also Spurs would be home 13th March and away will be December the 5th and the key dates include Boxing Day Chelsea at home new year's day will be second and then uh, west brom uh, uh, albion away uh, and the final day will be brighton at home so it's going to be unbelievable let's see how things will turn out for arsenal we're moving on according to match chapero our price has jumped from 36 million pounds to around 54 million pounds following lyon's impressive run to the champions league semi finals and newspapers suggest lyon would be have been okay with 40 million euros but now hope our price will be closer to 60 million euros following his recent champions league display so match chapero is completely uh, he's, he's pretty much clear about our pricing but moving on fulham have lost each of their last five premier league games against arsenal conceding nine goals in their two defeats against the gunners Well, Fulham and Arsenal have only met on the opening day once previously in the top flight with Gunners coming from behind to beat them to 1 in 2007-2008. Arsenal looking to win on match day 1 in consecutive seasons for the first time since 2019-2010. That was 3 in a row. While Fulham have lost their opening day match in each of their last two seasons losing to Crystal Palace in 2018-2019 and last season to Barnsley 1-0. Well, moving on. Well, also there was the uh, uh, another source has suggested in France that Gabriel Magalhaes was due to have a health checkup for Arsenal today. His arrival in Lille at the age of 19 is 3 million euros, leaving Lille at the age of 22, 30 million euros. So I don't know what that means, but let's see. There's nothing more about his uh, uh, you know departure. But moving on, so fresh and so clean, Arsenal women are, are actually they actually tweeted this out with Daniel Van der Donk and Beth Mead in. I think probably that looks like a very good kit. It it looks lovely. Well, moving on. Well, uh, Real Lil President Gerard Lopez has opened up about Gabriel Magalha. She says, "I feel he's among the top five dominant central defenders in Europe right now. His statistics, which aren't well covered outside of France, shows that his percentage with for winning duels is pretty unheard of in a league that's extremely physical." And yes, uh, Arsenal are actually teasing teasing all the Arsenal fans uh, on their Twitter account. They posted Oba, but nothing more than that. Well. Let's talk about let's address the elephant in the room and that is Adama Traore. Well yes why do I speak about Adama Traore because Wolves have actually are ready to willing are willing to listen to offers for 70 million rated Adama Traore. Well yes the 24 year old enjoyed a breakthrough last season with six goals and nine assists as Nuno Espirito Santo's side reached the Europa League quarter finals. Wolves suffered a 1-0 defeat to Sevilla after Raul Jimenez missed a 13 minute 13th minute penalty but it was Traore's run which caught the eye as he sprinted more than half the pitch to win the spot kick. 
when he was eventually hauled down by Diego Carlos. Where it looks like Wolves will consider high offers for Traore, who joined the club for £18 million pounds for, from Middlesbrough in 2018. Traore had been linked in Ars- with Arsenal uh, in, in, in the early stages before. So let's see if Arsenal could... Uh, I think I think if, if £70 million pounds and if you're looking for a winger, why not? Yeah, why not? Traore is a beast. You know what he brings to the table. Well, according to Avalapt, Arsenal, uh, Ebola, uh, Arsenal have made a 15 million euro bid rejected by Benfica for their Brazilian midfielder Gabriela Pelt Pires. Well, I think uh, you've, you've never heard of him. He's a decent guy. Uh, Gorang informs me that he plays, he's a similar similar to um, John McGinn for Aston Villa. So 15 million euros is fine, but more than that would be uh, pay, overpaying him. So I, I, I agree. I believe him more than enough. So yes, these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. All the views and news and everything about Arsenal comes to this platform every single day twice. So sit back, relax and enjoy all the news that comes to this platform. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers. And don't forget, I hope we can reach 10k. I, I, let's see before tomorrow's first video. Probably may, may or may not. Or maybe tomorrow towards the end of the day, we might reach 10k. Who knows? But I think the target is very, very, very near to us. Let's hope we can reach there. IG Army, uh, let's, let's move on. And I think we'll see you. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, cheers.